Hello, I'm Robbie Fowler and you're watching Redman TV. Hello, welcome to the Redmen TV. With the big news today is, of course, that Raheem Sterling has agreed to with Manchester City on a £49 million pound transfer. Let that sink in for a moment that Liverpool have basically just got £49 million pounds from Raheem Sterling. Um, that's not to say that I don't think he's a, he's a good player, and obviously I've, I've defended him as much as it was probably possible to defend someone whose actions have been as reprehensible as they've been really in the last few weeks and months um, I yeah, well, we'll come on to it, on to it in general I'm very interested to know what your thoughts are so if you've got any thoughts on this the situation if you've got any I, I'm sure no one's got any thoughts on it whatsoever, but if you have if you've got one or two thoughts do leave them in the comments section um, underneath I'm very interested to see what the what the depth of feeling how deep the depth of feeling goes on this one yeah I 49 million pounds look Forty-nine million pounds. When you consider, you know, I think a number of people have said this to me on, on Twitter the last day or so. Um, we got fifty for Fernando Torres, um, who was, you know, a, a European Championship winner, a World Cup winner, um, free scoring centre forward, and then Raheem Sterling, who is, you know, a phenomenal talent, but unfulfilled talent at the moment. The best part of fifty million pounds is absolutely ludicrous money, and as much as I've said in weeks gone by, I, w I really an ideal world situation f for me as a Liverpool fan would have seen would have been to see us, you know, buy the likes of Firmino in and, and what have you, and then just drag the the stale and stuff out for the summer and go nah, and then basically eventually turn Man City's bids down. So, and I think that would have been great just for the power of positive, even though you know there's loads of negative feelings towards them, just to be able to say no, nah, I'm sorry, Liverpool don't sell. Good players, and no for for any money. If we really want them, we'll keep them. That's the disappointment. That's the disappointment for me, and it's the only disappointment. I think the, I think when you see some of people's reactions and they're saying like, oh, he, he he's shite, and I'll put a few comments up. Like, and there's people saying, oh, he's a load of shite. He, you know, he's going to go unfulfilled. He's he's the he's going to do a Scott Sinclair or a or a Sean Ray Phillips or or whatever. I don't think so. I, I you know, I, I think when you look at Sterling, you know, he, he struggled at times last season, but he went from being sort of what the third or fourth best player in our team to the absolute nailed on has to carry the 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 weight and and the the entire burden of Liverpool Football Club on his shoulders. I think we did that far too much, far too soon last season. I think he struggled as a result. He's clearly not a centre forward, you know, and we and we've seen his best play as as a number ten and as, as a wide man. I think he did a very admirable job up top for Liverpool, but as I say, he was, you know, he did a job for the team, and you know, he did it at, at wing back and all kinds. He was he was passed around from pillar to post last season. That will have stunted his development. But you know, I think people are looking at that and go, "Oh yeah, he's not, you know, he's, he's not very good." Whatever. Don't forget that you know the season before he was in a team with a fit Daniel Sturridge and a fit Luis Suarez, and he absolutely excelled and he looked like a, a genuinely terrific player, particularly in that second half season after he came good. Um, that'll happen at Man City for me anyway. You know, he's going to be around players like Silver and, and, and players like Aguero. He's not going to be the main man. He's going to be the, the the third or fourth best player in that team. And I think once again, you know, he's still young. He's gonna he has the, the potential again. There's that word, but he has the potential to absolutely excel at Man City. So I'm not absolutely clicking my heels, cartwheel, and saying it's the best piece of business Liverpool ever done because he's twenty years old. He's going to get a lot better, and when he's surrounded by players of the caliber that he's going to be at Man City, and I think they're going to make him an important but not an absolutely integral part of that team. I think he'll have a great season. I think we could, we could regret it in some in to, to some extent. Although that being said. Like the best, the, the best part of fifty million pounds in the bank. You can't have too many regrets when you've got that. The biggest thing now on Liverpool is to go and spend that money. And the big fear for Liverpool fans now is that have we basically already spent it? That's the one that's going to be keeping us up at night. Let's hope not. And um, you know, people are looking at it going. There's a twenty percent uh, uh, fee that's gone to QPR as part of the deal. But we took them originally, so you're talking around. 38, 39 million pound of that's going to be Liverpool's to spend. The immediate the the immediate thought on that is it's Christian Benteke boxed off. We'll see. Personally, I, I still I'm I'm happy for us to go and sign Benteke, but I really hope that that was part of the original transfer spending budget and this sterling stuff is additional. Fingers crossed, who knows? Power of positive thought. Uh, and then we can go and buy someone like everyone's going ape shit's going, Rice! 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 <laughs> yeah, John Over if you're listening. Rice, um, but Rice or Lacazette, whatever you know. Someone, I think you know. We saw the power of positive PR that came with 
Shine and Roberto Firmino. It's kind of been diminished a little bit with the Benteke links. Find Shine if you if you want to make him your number one centre forward. Fine, do it. Go and buy someone. But also, I really want to see us go and buy someone who who gets Royce! Royce! who gets us excited again. Um, and like I say, Royce is probably absolutely ridiculous. But as I tweeted last night, I really want to see John Henry and Ian Air rock up in an eighteen van outside the uh, West Fallen Stadion with a fat cigar and a blank check. For Marco Royce, that'd be sensational. But you know, we can dream, can't we? Anyway, thoughts on all that in the comment section below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. We're going to be discussing the Raheem Sterling deal in far more depth and detail. We're going to have a full couch of guests uh, on the subscriber shows on the RedmenTV.com. It's completely free for a month, and it's just two pound a month after that. Uh, I'll link to it in the video annotation straight after this. So click through, go and check it out, and uh, enjoy more Redmen TV goodness. Cheers. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey,